Hey, so today I'm going to take a look at the Tune shaders that are built into the content browser. Uh, if you go up top to Windows and then down to Content Browser, you will see the content browser that's built into Maya. Um, and I specifically was looking at these Tune shaders and I really liked them, but I just didn't know how to apply them to my object. Uh, specifically, today I'm going to show you this pencil shading uh, one. So if you double click, it'll open up. And this is the example that Maya comes with. A little teapot, and then if we render it, it looks like this, which is really cool. It looks like hand sketched, so interesting. And I was like, how do I make that effect on my own object? Um, and it took me longer than you'd expect, so I thought I'd just walk you guys through it so you don't have to waste your time. It's really simple. So um, I'm going to leave this open, and I'm going to import my FBX. Import. Lots of stuff going on here. Oh, see Daisy. <laughs> I do that all the time. Assets. I have um, sunglasses. That's what we're going to try to get this tune shader to appear on. So I'll bring it front and center. And now, uh, one thing to note about this Tune Shader is that it is only available to be rendered on Maya software, unfortunately. So if you guys like Arnold, I like Arnold a lot, we can't really use it for this. But um, So when you're rendering, make sure that the software is Maya. And as you can see, this um, the sunglasses don't have a shader that's able to be rendered. So what we're going to do is try to apply the shader that's on the teapot to the glasses. Um, I'm going to just right click on the glasses and you'll see under assign existing material, a bunch of different options. These are uh, shaders that are applied to the teapot. So they already exist. So if we click the geometry and go into att attribute editor, um, we'll see which shader is being used to create that drawing effect. I found that it's the pencil shading layer, sh layered shader one. So let's give it a shot and uh, right click, assign existing material. Let's try that one. Render. Ooh, yay, first try. Okay, so as we can see, we've got the really cool white and liney shader, but there's an outline that we're not really getting. It's actually kind of hard to see, but there's a cool tune outline that goes on to this. Shader. That's an additional effect that we need to add to the glasses. And I found that we can get that outline if we go to rendering tune. So if we click on our own object, Tune, assign outline. Now the outline that is on the teapot is already up here because it's open. Pencil shading one, PFX tune shape one. We can click that and the same one is applied to both. Um, and when we render it out, we're getting, see this, this is the outline. Um, it's very light, so we can change that up. So if I just undo that assignment, I can give it my own outline if I want it to be a little different. Tune, assign outline, add tune outline. That's our new, ooh, very different, very dark. Um, we can change the width. That'll be super thick. Um, maybe make it a little less thick, super skinny. Um, it's pretty neat. So say you like that, you don't want to use the same one as the teapot, you can leave it. Let's just delete the teapot. I'm going to keep the ground and I'm going to keep the light. So I'm going to unselect those and I'm going to keep this thing, which I uh, need a moment. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to delete it all right here. There. 
we have our glasses alone and uh, check it out. We've got our tune shader applied to our glasses. Looking good. We can tweak it as much as we want. Maybe I want to give it that pencil shading outline again. I don't want the one that I made. I want the one that was on the teapot to begin with. I just went back, selected that, deleted the one I made, render it out, and ooh, we have a much more uh, gentle, sub subtle effect there. So <laughs> I hope that this helps some of you guys and you can apply the same technique I used for this on the other tune shaders. They're a little different, but maybe I'll get to um, make some videos on those too and we can walk them, walk through them all together. Uh, and I hope this helped you and you guys make something really, really cool. So thank you for watching. See you next time.